Courses in the Cement Industry Present to you Channel Members Courses in the Cement Industry In this topic discusses, Stacker and Reclaimer, Systems for Cement Plants Brief Introduction Stacker reclaimer systems are storage and extraction systems for crushed and granular materials, like crushed limestone and coal. They can handle material at high rates of feed and extraction because conveyors in the systems are belt conveyors. Materials are stored as triangular stockpiles. Quantity to be stored is determined by the stocks to be maintained in number of days consumption. Pre-homogenization 1. Pre-homogenization is often necessary in the cement industry in cases where the raw material chemical composition varies greatly. 2. Pre-homogenization is used primarily for the main components in cement production, limestone and clay. With the increasing variation in the grades of coal used for coal firing installations, there is a growing need for pre-homogenization and storage of coal. Depending on the properties of the coal used, a pre-homogenizing or buffer store is used. Stacking methods The most commonly used stacking methods are chevron, windrow, and cone shell. 1. Chevron method Circular stores, continuous chevron stacking, is the most commonly used method. 2. Windrow method. The windrow method is preferred in cases where the reclaimer is only operating in one part of the pile cross section at a time or in cases where segregation would make an open pile base unacceptable typically in coal stores. 3. Cone shell method. The cone shell method is often used in cases where homogenization is not necessary. The pile is formed by depositing material in a single cone from a fixed position. Stacking methods Basically these methods consist of stacking a large number of layers on top of each other in the longitudinal direction of the pile. According to the chevron method, material is deposited by the stacker moving to and fro over the center line of the pile. The chevron stacking method causes segregation of the material, with fine particles in the central part of the pile, and coarse particles on the surface, and at the bottom of the pile. To ensure proper blending a chevron pile, must therefore be reclaimed from the face of the pile, working across the entire cross section. According to the windrow method, material is deposited from a number of positions, across the full width of the pile. The windrow method prevents segregation and ensures more even distribution of fine and coarse particles across the pile. The windrow method is preferred in cases where the reclaimer is only operating in one part of the pile cross section at a time or in cases where segregation would make an open pile base unacceptable, typically in coal stores. The cone shell method is often used in cases where homogenization is not necessary. The pile is formed by depositing material in a single cone from a fixed position. When this conical pile is full, the depositing of material moves to a new position and a new cone is formed against the shell of the first one. This process continues in the longitudinal direction of the store until the stockpile is complete. Reclaiming methods. There are two ways from reclaiming methods. 1. On or off mode. In this mode, the reclaimer is usually equipped with constant speed motors. The reclaimed material is carried by belt conveyors driven by constant speed motors and discharged into a feed bin of a relatively large volume. Reclaiming capacity is higher than the mill requirement, and the reclaimer therefore operates in an on or off mode controlled by maximum and minimum level indicators in the feed bin. On leaving the bin, the material is proportioned and fed to the mill by way feeders. 2. Direct mode. 
In this mode, if the materials are difficult to handle, it may be an advantage to avoid the intermediate bin, between the reclaimer and the mill. This is possible in cases, where material from one, or more, stores is to be fed to a single mill. In principle, the reclaimer must be equipped with speed regulated motors, and an integrated belt scale. The transport and subsequent proportioning, of the reclaimed material and additional raw material, is affected by speed regulated conveyors. Reclaiming capacity will always match the mill requirement, and the reclaimer will operate continuously. The reclaimer in combination, with the transporting belt conveyors acts as a way feeder, for the reclaimed material. Store Types Type 1 Homogenising Stores There are different types, of homogenising stores. 1. Circular Blending Systems Of the most important advantages. 1. Fully automatic continuous operation, no change of pile. 2. High continuous homogenizing effect. 3. No end cone problems, except during initial startup. 4. Optimum utilization of space. The circular blending systems consists of 1. Incoming belt conveyor, 2. Jib. 3. Conveyor belt on jib. 4. Central column. 5. Luffing unit. 6. Jib counterweight. 7. Operator cabin. 8. Raking harrow. 9. Raking car. 10. Scraper chain. 11. Hydraulic chain tension unit. 12. Bogey. 13. Outlet hopper. 14. Outgoing belt conveyor. The circular blending system is designed for continuous chevron stacking in one ring shaped pile. Stacking is affected by a fan's haped sprinkling action in an arc determined by the type of material being processed to ensure appropriate homogenization. Reclaiming at the other end of the pile is affected by a bridge reclaimer work, circular store with live harrow circular storing, parallel to a radius line. For cement production the pile, between the bridge scraper, and the stacking zone is a buffer normally representing, 4 to, 7 days consumption. The material enters the store, on a rubber belt conveyor, and is discharged into a centrally, positioned inlet hopper on the stacker jib. 2. Longitudinal Bridge Scraper Store Of the most important advantages 1. Suitable for dry, to moderately sticky materials 2. Direct feed of free-flowing materials 3. Efficient adjustment of long-term variations, in chemical composition of raw materials 4. Store capacity can easily be expanded. The longitudinal bridge scraper consists of 1. Incoming belt conveyor, 2. Jib, 3. Conveyor belt on jib, 4. Jib counterweight, 5. Luffing unit, 6. Operator cabin, 7. Stacker bogey. 8. Reclaimer bogey. 9. Hydraulic tensioning unit. 10. Scraper chain. 11. Raking harrow. 12. Raking car. 13. Operator cabin. 14. Outgoing belt conveyor. This video shows longitudinal bridge. The longitudinal bridge scraper store, operates with two piles. One pile is stacked, while the other is being reclaimed. A capacity of each pile covering, three to seven days, 
requirements is normally recommended for cement production. Bucket Excavator Store Of the most important advantages 1. Only homogenizing store suitable, for very sticky materials 2. Economical system for large stores designed, for direct feed of any type of mill 3. Optimum utilization of space, and roofing easy to install Bucket Excavator Store Introduction Brief The Bucket Chain Excavator Store, is designed particularly for sticky bulk materials. The store consists of two, or more longitudinal stockpiles, stacked according to the windrow method. While one pile is being stacked, the other is reclaimed at right angles, to the direction of stacking. A capacity of each pile corresponding to, between three and a half and, 7 days, production requirements is normally recommended. The bucket excavator store, consists of 1. First stacking bridge 2. Conveyor belt on bridge 3. Operator cabin 4. Cable wheel 5. Bucket chain 6. Bucket chain hoist 7. Reclaiming Bridge 8. Operator Cabin 9. Reclaiming Bridge Conveyor 10. Second Stacking Bridge Type 2. Non-homogenizing Stores There are different types, of non-homogenizing stores. 1. Portal Scraper Store Of the most important advantages 1. Suitable for all types of materials, including sticky materials. 2. Different types of material can be stacked, and reclaimed from separate piles. 3. Optimum utilization of building, when using overhead tripper. 4. Store capacity can easily be expanded. 5. Low initial cost. The Portal Scraper Store, consists of 1. Bogey for Portal Reclaimer 2. Outgoing Belt Conveyor 3. Operator Cabin 4. Portal 5. Primary Scraper Chain 6. Secondary Scraper Chain 7. Jib 8. Belt conveyor on jib. 9. Bogey for stacker. 10. Operator cabin. 11. Incoming belt conveyor. 12. Hydraulic cylinder. 13. Jib counterweight. 2. Side scraper store. Of the most important advantages. 1. Suitable for sticky materials. 2. Different types of material can be stacked, and reclaimed from separate piles. 3. Optimum utilization of building, when using overhead tripper. 4. Store capacity can easily be expanded. The side scraper store, consists of 1. Hoist for raising and lowering chain 2 operator cabin 3 outgoing belt conveyor 4 reclaimer bogey 5 scraper chain 6 jib 7 belt conveyor on jib 8 stacker bogey 9 operator cabin 10. Incoming belt conveyor. 11. 
Hydraulic cylinder. 12. Jib counterweight. This video shows, portal scraper, semi-portal scraper with one arm. The non-homogenising portal scraper store, the type portal scraper is normally used in a production line, as a bulk material buffer store. The store operates with stockpiles placed, in line dot while building up one pile, by cone shell stacking another pile, is being reclaimed. The material enters the store on a rubber belt conveyor, running along one side of the store. It is discharged onto a stacker jib. Thank you for watching, and I hope these courses are helpful to everyone. Subscribing to this channel Cement Industry Courses would be appreciated. Thank you.